approaching somewhere between 40 and 50 miles a week, uh, plus cycling. So we've been getting to the spin sessions on a Wednesday night. So it's been there. Yeah, it's gone reasonably well. Um, have you um, been coping with the stress placed on your body training for this marathon? Uh, I think I've coped with it a little bit better this year, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe that's just maybe just a little bit more experience. I've done a little bit less volume in terms of running this year. Um, but sort of the, the extra cycle made up for it, so I feel, I feel fitter this year than I did last year. So, taper started. Um, started the other day. So did uh, a long run on Sunday with Wayne, up to the Manchester Marathon to watch uh, Rich and the rest of the guys doing a, doing a marathon up there. So I did 14 miles uh, and then started tapering this week. So volume goes down to about, about 25, 30 miles this week and then probably about 10 for the race next week. Got any, any interesting um, stories? Oh, it's gone the well. They bought from I fell off a bike the other day and I took my kids on the mountain bike, went straight over the handlebars. <laughs> and while I was lying on the ground I thought, you've got a marathon in two weeks, you're an idiot. But there you go. I'm in one piece now. Boot running, enjoy the process of um, training. And just a case of wanting to do the best that I can really. So I don't like it when it's hot. So so look at the weather forecast for next weekend. I'm dreading it. <laughs> Because it's saying it's going to be like 18 degrees. I prefer it, just prefer it when it's cold and wet. I don't, I don't know why. How did you? Um, how have you done in your other races in preparation? Park run. I did a 5k PB uh, two or three weeks ago. With 18.53. So yeah, reasonably quick 5k. Um, did a cost of 10k on Sunday. So. I'm gonna it'll be close to three hours. Hopefully, go one day. It'll be it'll be close to the other side. Yeah, around three hours. <laughs>